Welcome to Module 1, Lesson 4. Let's get started. Today, we will be learning how to find the size of the group in a division equation. We are learning this so that we can become fluent in multiplication and division. We will use math and many real life situations. We'll know that we're successful when we can use the fair share strategy to solve for the size of the group in a division equation. What is a fair share? When you give a fair share, you go back and forth to give an equal amount. So suppose you had a pile of marble that you wanted to share fairly with your friends. You would say one for you, one for you, one for you, one for you, two for you, two for you, two for you, two for you, and so on, so that you're sharing them out in a fair manner. Let's divide this array into two equal groups using the fair share strategy. So we'll start taking them off the bottom. I put one in each group. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you can see that we've used all of the circles and we've shared them into the two groups. So now we have two groups with nine in each group. Let's write a division equation where the quotient is the size of each group. Remember the quotient is the answer in a division equation. So we want to start with the biggest number. There are 18 in all. The number of groups is two and the size of each group is nine. So we're starting with the largest number. We started with 18, right? We divided it into two groups with nine in each group. So 18 divided by two equals nine. How many groups of stars do you see here? How many stars are in each group? How many in all? Answer, there are three groups with four in each group and there are 12 stars in all. So I have three groups, one, two, three, there are four in each group, one, two, three, four, and there are 12 in all, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Let's write a division equation where the quotient is the size of the group. Remember, the quotient is the answer in a division problem. Remember, we always start with the largest number, the whole group, right? There are 12 in all. So the first number is a 12. That's the dividend. We're devising it or dividing it into three groups. The second number is a three. That's the divisor. The last number is the answer or the quotient. How many in each group? There are four in each group, so 12 divided by three equals four. Okay, we're ready for our first read, draw, write question. The first one we do together, and then I'll assign you one to do independently. 
So in read, draw, write, the first thing we do is read the question and pick out the important information. Aaliyah bakes 18 cookies for six friends. When I'm looking at a word problem or story problem, I always want to circle or underline any numbers that I see. So she's baking 18 cookies for six friends. The question is, how many cookies can she give to each friend if she shares them equally? How many cookies can she give to each friend? And she's sharing them equally. Write a division equation where the product equals the size of the group. Okay, so we've read. Now the next step is to draw. Draw a picture to help you solve the problem. This could be an array, a bar diagram, or any other math model. So we just learned how to take an array and fair share out into different groups. So when I make my drawing, and I'll move over to the, the Jamboard now. If you have access to Google, you can open your own Jamboard by typing jamboard.google.com, and I will put a link to Jamboard in the box below. Plus sign to start a new Jamboard. Okay, so she has 18 cookies for six friends, and I wanna know how many cookies she gives to each friend. So I'm dividing it among six people or six groups. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw six groups. And next I'm going to use the fair share strategy because that is our objective, our goal for the day to be able to use the fair share strategy. And I know I need to get up to 18. So I'm just gonna go one at a time and keep putting a tick mark in each circle until I get up to 18. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, stop. Okay, let's look back at the question. It says she shares them equally. So I want to make sure that each of my groups has an equal number. I have three, 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 and three. So that's the size of my group. Next, I can write an equation and I want to start with how many I had in all. How many did I have? I had 18 to begin with. That's my biggest number. The whole group number goes first. Now I've divided it into six groups. So I'm going to put the division symbol divided into six groups. And my quotient is the thing that we're trying to find out. How many are in each group? Well, we said there are three in each group. So if Aaliyah had 18 cookies and she divided it among six friends, she gave each friend three cookies. Let's look back at our question. How many cookies can she give to each friend if she shares them equally? So I've already read and I've already drawn. The next step is to answer the question in a complete sentence. I want a nice juicy answer that explains how I arrived at my answer. And I want to use words from the question. So I want to say Aaliyah can give each friend three cookies. Aaliyah can give each friend three cookies. I used the fair share 
strategy to divide 18 into six groups of three. Okay, so I've finished my read, draw, write strategy. Got a drawing, I've got a nice juicy worded answer. So I think I'm done. Let's go back and check the answer. Answer, Aaliyah can give three cookies to each friend because 18 divided by six equals three. Yes, that's exactly what I said. It's worded a little bit differently, but I want to emphasize that you are going to answer in your own words. You're going to answer as completely as you are able to and just do your best. Okay, it's your turn, are you ready? This is going to be your read, draw, write question to answer independently. So after the video is through, you can pause on this screen to review the question again on your own. You want to read it, pick out the important information, draw it out, and you can draw it on paper, you can draw it on a dry erase board, or you can go to the Jamboard. I'll put the link below and make your own Jamboard. And then make sure that you're writing out in your own words the answer to the question and include an explanation explanation of how you arrived at your answer. Okay, I'm going to read this for you. Ready? Caleb gathers 12 fallen leaves. He divides them into three equal groups. How many leaves are in each group? Draw a picture and write a division sentence to solve. Okay, go do your best and when you're done, look in the box below and you'll find the answer. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.